In the last video of our analytics series, I showed you how to track custom events through Google Tag Manager in Google Analytics 4. Well, in Universal Analytics, we had event category, event label. In Google Analytics 4, we've got a set of custom event parameters. And there's a little bit of setup on the back end in order to get that working so that we can then pull that information into Databox. And I'm going to show you just how to do that in this video. All right, so first thing that we're gonna do is I wanna show you in Universal Analytics how we had this set up before. So if we go to Behavior, uh, Psych, oh no, Events right here, Overview. So I just wanna show you kind of how the data is set up in Universal Analytics and how that's gonna translate in Google Analytics 4, and then we can kind of move into how things will work. So let's set this up as custom. So this hasn't been tracking for a long time. So let's go back to All right, so let's go into here now, see our events. So there was categories, actions and labels. And so we have it under label, we have this set up to track the store name. Um, so this is for a McDonald's franchise that owns a bunch of locations. And so each of these is a different location. And so we're able to track how many clicks are uh, being made on each location. Now in Google Analytics 4, it's a little bit different. So I'm gonna jump over to the Google Analytics 4 account. And then we'll jump into the events. So under engagement, events, and there is a way to add, so we already added our custom event, which is fine, that shows up here, application click. What we need to do is when we have those uh, custom event parameters that we set up in Google Tag Manager, which I can show you in a bit, we have to tell Google Analytics that those exist and set them up as dimensions. So uh, first, let me show you kind of what that looks like. So if we click on application click, which is our custom event, and then scroll down here to the bottom, we have an application URL, which we're passing as a custom parameter, and store name. This is the one that we care about right now. Um, so what we need to do in order to make this show up as a custom dimension is go to our admin tab down here. And in our second column, you'll see right here where it says custom definitions. Now here we can do dimensions or metrics. Metrics are, the basically the only difference is metrics are like numbers, the numerical values that can kind of add up. Uh, this is a custom dimension since it's a, a store name. So we added that here. You just basically create custom store name uh, or custom <laughs> dimension name. So you type in store name like that, and then you select that event parameter from here. Since I already selected it, I don't think it shows up in the list anymore, but it would basically just be one of these. And then you save that. So we already have that set up here. Um, and then once you do that, then it shows up in your reports like I showed you. Now, the second part that we have to do is inside of Databox. So this is the universal analytics version of that. So if I click on here, you'll see we're using the metric. This is a built-in metric that comes um, with just a generic Databox. So uh, top events by sessions by label. Um, and so that gives us exactly what we want because we already have it set up where these store names are saved as the label of the event. Now, if we jump over to the Google Analytics 4 version, it's a little bit different setup. And it took, um, it took me a while to get this uh, figured out because it's not a built-in metric. So what we have to do is create a custom metric, and I'll show you how to do that. So here it's being displayed properly, it looks great, um, but this is a custom metric. So in order to set this up, you gotta click right here where it says new custom metric. All right, so then what we're gonna do is we need to find our metric. We're going to say event count. And then it's going to, every time you make a change here, like it'll refresh. So we want this to be, um, uh, what is it, store name. All right, so that's store name. And then under advanced options, because if I click preview data, You'll see here it's going to populate the list on this side. Oh, we don't want this graph though. Let's do it as a table since that's what we're using in our in our data board. Um, okay, so here we go. It's, we're getting our, the data that we want. Problem is we have this not set thing here, which we don't want. 
So I'm going to set up a custom filter here that says dimension, since we have it set up as a custom dimension. And then we're going to say uh, store name. And we're going to say does not match. And I'm just going to put not set like this. So it seems kind of silly, but if I do that, then I preview it, it's going to get rid of that first line, which just gives us a, a clearer set of data to work with. So there you go. Um, that gets rid of that. This gives us exactly what we want to show in our data board. Um, we can name it here. So we can say um, applications by store name. And then here for show data for, um, I mean, you can always change this in the data board, but let's just set this to last month since that's what we use for um, this specific data board anyways. So I'm going to set that to last month. All right, there we go. We've got exactly what we need. Now we're going to save this as a custom metric. So I'm going to click save. All right, so now that this is saved, here we go. We've got our updated information and we're getting the same kind of display as we did from Universal Analytics, but this is coming through Google Analytics 4. So it's a, you can see it's a little bit different setup, but we got to the same result. Um, custom metrics, I will say, are a, a higher tier in Databox, so they don't come with the free or like basic level plans. Uh, so keep that in mind. Uh, which is unfortunate, but on, in order to get this kind of uh, granularity on your custom event data, you do need to have custom metrics. So I hope you found this, this video helpful. Uh, and if you did, please give us a like, leave a comment below, and make sure to check out the other videos in our series. Have a good one.